We're working on problem P6 in uh, the cost uh, systems job order costing uh, chapter. And we are now on September 8th. And September 8th says we issued checks, meaning we credited cash, for the following overhead items. Utilities, 4,310. Manufacturing insurance, 1,925. And repairs of 4,640. Now, all of these items have to do with the production of the product. So, those are actual overhead costs. So instead of individually debiting utilities expense, insurance expense, and repairs expense, what we'll use instead, since these are product costs, we'll use that account called overhead. So we're going to be debiting overhead and crediting cash. So let's see. Here's our overhead account. So debit overhead for the total amount of those three added together. And if I add them together, I think it comes to $10,875. And I'll credit cash $10,875. So I paid for these overhead items on the, what was it, the 8th. So I want to make sure I know which debit goes with which credit. So actual overhead, debit overhead, credit cash. That was on the 8th. Now, on the 10th, we requested direct materials costing $29,510, all used in job A, so that'll go into work in process, and indirect materials of $6,480 for production. Indirect materials, where does that go? You're right, it goes in overhead. So, while we're on this page, on the 10th, we're going to debit overhead for the actual cost of the indirect materials we used, and that was $64.80. And we're going to credit material inventory on the 10th for $64.80, which was the indirect materials. So we debit overhead, credit material inventory, indirect. Direct materials, though, goes into what? Work in process. And that was job A again. On the 10th, we requisitioned and used uh, 29510 So we debit work in process, credit material inventory. Now, could I have combined these? Sure. But I wanted you to see what was direct and what was indirect. Um, so let's stop there and more soon.